A team of ministers have today toured Tianjin Mao Science Technology Limited in China, the parent company of Nkana Alloy and Nkana Processing Companies, who are the owners of the Black Mountain in Kitwe. The ministers were joined by special assistant to the president for press and public relations Amos Chanda are here in Tianjin province to appreciate the works of the company. During this tour, the authorities at the company showcase their machinery which is used to process cobalt, copper and manufacturing of fertilizer using raw materials from Zambia. Tianjin Mao Science Technology Limited Chairman Mark Ru informed the visitors that his firm wants to put up a mineral processing plant in Zambia. And speaking earlier, Special Assistant to the President for Press and Public Relations Amos Chanda said the head of states wants the company to protect the interest of the community and small-scale miners in Zambia. He said President Edgar Lungu wants the miners and the community to benefit from the Black Mountain in Kitwe. That once you have acquired property rights, those rights are inviolable. And unless this is assured, there will be no investment uh, uh, attraction to Zambia. So you are ambassadors to tell the rest of the world that in that country, property rights are fully guaranteed. Yes, that, that is exactly the message the president was saying. The second example, and the second message he wants to continue to send, is that the exploitation of the national resource, such as that, must be done in an equitable and fair manner, that it must benefit the investors and also that it must benefit the people of Zambia. I think in this one example, Black Mountain, Black as it is called, I think that it, it is a microcosm of how the entire mining industry in Zambia can be seen to be deployed for the benefit of the, of, of the people on the ground. Because you are not hiding anything. If there is gold there, you are saying this is the percentage that is there. This is the kind of equitable sharing that the president wants. So. And Minister of Mines Richard Musukwa said government is looking forward to the setting up of a mineral processing plant in Zambia. We are very grateful that you have provided a platform for our small scale miners who in the past used to be called Jarabozo illegals. You have provided a platform to ensure that they take part in the exploitation of our resources and we would like you to encourage them and also share the technology with them and the resources so that they know that it is not just about selling the product but that we have a sustainable process of mining our product. And also to thank them most sincerely on their flexibility when we had the challenge on the on the Black Mountain, it was these guys had to forfeit, right? They had to forfeit. It was not an easy thing, but to surely the one thing we liked is the respect. It's just a, a, a show of respect to His Excellency because when His Excellency guided, we were happy that when we spoke to them, when Amos and the team spoke to them, I think they were able to respond in the positive to try and help resolve the impasse that we had. The four ministers concluded their tour with a resolve to promote and implement President Eddie Galungu's call for value addition to Zambia's natural resources. Hector Simfokwe, ZNBC News, Tianjin Province, China.